West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and community football. To the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grief Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website... MFL TV live, reserves grand final underway. First touch there for Norlunga goes to Donaldson. He goes forward, finds a teammate. Norlunga will kick to the northern end in this first quarter against, well, I won't even say against the Breeze. We'll talk about the Breeze in a moment. We'll have a ball up about 45 metres out, 40 metres out from the Norlunga goal. Norlunga taking on... The Ranella Wineflies here in the Reserves Grand Final, live from Flinders University Stadium. Tap to the back there. We don't have the run of it, and no one can pick it up. Tough conditions today here, Flinders University Stadium. They get a run on now. Oh, run down, beautiful tackle, well played. Umpire says holding the ball, the resulting free kick will go to Smith. Short chip out to the wing position for Ranella. Trying to pick it up there, nothing doing. 29 in your program, we don't have. Free kick, resulting free kick will be taken by Max Rogerson. Rogerson. Finds a teammate there. Mark taken. It's Jacob Daly. Daly kicks it straight out on the full. That breeze, if you had any doubt today, it is tough. Still no score. Murray Valley Shed scoreboard, nil all. Free kick for the wine flyers to be taken by Eddie Roberts. Roberts chips short, finds the man there in Sweeney. Sweeney looks for options. He'll kick it down to the wing position. True centre wing out on the full. Going to see a lot of that today. That breeze is blowing almost from wing to wing. Half forward to half forward, you'd say, across the ground. Maybe slightly favouring the southern end. But it's tough for both ends. Resulting free kick there. Taken by Carlisle. And he has picked out a defender. Bailey England has taken the resulting kick. He kicks it inboard a little bit more. We'll get a contest this time. Up they go. Over the back. Umpire says play on. Taken in the hands by Sweeney. He chips it into the middle of the ground. Now we've got a foot race. Lands in between two pairs. Bounces over their heads. Now it's a uh, one-on-one -on -one contest. Good effort from both the boys there. It spills out. They've got numbers at the fall of the ball. Trying to get a little hack out there. Was Styles couldn't. Now they dive in and we'll have a ball up. About 50 metres out. Just past the 50 metre line for Ranella. Kicking to the southern end in this first quarter. Rucks to go at it again. Tapped forward inside. 50 men on the run there. Picks it up now. Looks to get around. Couldn't get around. No left foot. That won't get the job done. Joshua Black kicked it out on the full. Still no score on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Little chip inboard. Finds the mark there. Chris Minns. Minns for Norlunga. Terrible kick off the instep there. One's that man who nearly gets run down there in black. He got a little handball over. It's chipped inboard to about 50 metres out. Black goes in again. How to get rid of that? Umpire says play on. Little chip into the goal square. Double fisted. Diving attempt to spoil. Does the trick. Norlunga might be able to work this out of, de of defence now. There's some pressure on from the wine flies. Little handball over the top. They've got the numbers though. Norlunga leading with the uh, back with the uh, the ball there. 
and a little handball out there a long way away from us. It's out in front of the grandstand. Their free kick has been picked out. No longer will take it, and they'll clear their defensive unit now. They'll kick it up in front of the grandstand here at Flinders University Stadium. Big crowd in today. Coming back with the flight of it there or through the uh, the contest was Kath Paulus, who couldn't take do anything with it. Umpire says, give it to me. Last man up off the bottom of the pack there was Eddie Roberts. He's been prominent early. Rucks go at it again. Spills down. Couldn't get his hands on it. Donaldson comes out of there now. Just lost vision there for a moment. Apologies there. Umpire's found a free kick. You can see the rain on our screen is just blown in. On the far side, or the near, well, I guess you'd call it the, uh, the near side, I guess. Far side for us. We're on the outer side here, set up for MFL TV Live. Right in front of the Norlunga coach's box. It'll be tossed in. Rucks to go at it again. Good punch there from Styles for the Wine Flyers. Dive in and we'll have a repeat ball up. We're going to see a bit of this today. Ball up after ball up. Tossed up again. Flashing through there. Couldn't take it was uh, Eisenhurst, the Ruckman. Eisenhut even. Try and get the names right for you as the afternoon goes on. Umpire calls play on. No longer now go deep inside forward 50 over the back. Nobody read that properly. One on one, and they all, got all the way through to the goal square. But Ranella have the numbers. Handball in hope, found a man, and they will clear now the wine flies. Mark taken out there, uh, defensive 50. Beautiful looking mullet. Nick Dacos about that boy. We'll come back to him later on. He's kicked that out on the full. As I mentioned earlier on, we're going to see a bit of that today with the breeze. It's fluky. Norlunga now. Hugs boundary line with the kick almost slightly inboard, but off hands. No one can take it. It's on the ground where the ball's going to spend a lot of time today. Or well, big tackle. There uh, was, uh, that was Hobson who wrapped up his man. Still just tapping it around on the ground there. No one can get uh, any clear possession. The umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. Again, plenty of numbers around the contest. Christie's Beach winning the under-17 and a half grand final. Set up there in front of their marquee. Not many left. They're off celebrating with the boys. The bottom of that pack is uh, Matthew Fry. He's been wrapped up by a couple of tacklers, including Styles, who's been good early for the Wine Flyers, and it'll be balled up again. Numbers galore around this. Go the rucks once more. It spills down now. It's in the forward pocket for no longer. And that's our first score of the day on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. One behind. Tight, tough start as you'd expect in a grand final. Chips it out now. He's got a man coming up to take the mark. Defensive 45 metres for Ranella. They go long down the line now, out to the other side, off hands, coming back with the flight there. I think that was uh, Case Peach, but a teammate picked it up in the end. And now they look to go forward again, no longer. Keeps inside 50. Good spoil at the back. They've got some numbers, the wine flyers. They work it out through hands out of the back 50. Man, a couple of men on here in best position to get hold of it. It's a foot race. No tackle or, or that's well done there from the Ranella boy. Brilliant work. Beat two of them. Fantastic. Got it over the boundary line. Jacob Daly, well played. Ranella boys didn't work that out as well as they could have there. Tossed in true centre wing out of side. No longer Oval or uh, Flinders University Stadium, if you will. Overlong couldn't get hold of it. Either long, and it spills out off hands over the boundary line. We'll have another ball up coming up to meet it. There was Joel Brown for Norlunga. Move it about 15 metres further forward, almost half forward flank. Over the back, 
my man Ford all coming through there full chest. He couldn't do anything with it. A little handball over the top was a hospital handball from Brown. It worked out okay, though. Coming up to meet, it couldn't take the mark. was Fry. The umpire said here, he'll have it. They go again. Ordering around the back there. No one can really take that cleanly. Spills out. Fry got a little handball, but that's come off the foot in the end. I think of uh, Kath Poulos. The umpire says, give it to me. We'll toss it back in. So we're in the forward pocket now for Norlunga. Southern end of Flinders University Stadium. Tossed in now. And that will be out on the full, resulting free kick to Norlunga. And Michael Mantry's just popped back into the commentary position after taking a break after that under-17 grand final. How are you, Mark? Pretty good there, Jason. Great to have me back in the, co in the coach's box, commentary box with you. Close enough, We're doing mate. a bit of coaching. Well, you have. We you should have. be, the both of us. Well, <laughs> All our footy knowledge, probably that's not, what we should be doing. Probably not today. Uh, quite happy here in the uh, the warm. It's, oh, it's uh, nice and warm in here. It is a chilly, blowy afternoon at Norlunga. Best seat in the house. Christie's Beach winning the under-17 and a halves grand final. Recently, that game just finished a few, well, 10 minutes ago or so now. Long kick forward for Norlunga, a dangerous spot here. They got someone running onto it. Snap on goal, smothered. Wine flies desperate in defence. Or well, slipping over there, could have taken it and uh, had uh, a bit of an, op uh, an opportunity there was Carlisle. Couldn't do anything with it. Comes out now to Johnson. He couldn't pick it up. And the Ranella defenders arrive and wrap him up. We'll have a ball up. 50 metres out from the Norlunga goal. They've dominated territory for the last five minutes, but can't do anything with it on the scoreboard at this stage. Ranella, plenty of numbers behind the ball. They clear it out to centre wing. Coming up to meet it there for Norlunga was uh, one of their defenders. He falls over in the end. Josh Beard it was. He wraps up the Ranella boy at the bottom of the pack there. It's very slippery out there at the moment, isn't it? It is. It certainly is. Sweeney it was at the bottom of the pack. Up they go, the ball comes down. Pretty tough work in here. One flies just trying to edge it forward. Get the ball across, goes out of bounds. And it'll be a throw in, right in front of the commentary box here. We see Ren no longer one point, Ronaldo let yet to score. It's tough work out there. I've reserved great footy. Oh, great work there by the shoes. Well, it's been cut off here by the Renella. Going in hard. Oof. Thought it was too high on him. Oh, hit the umpire. Umpire shielded the ball there. What's he going to call here? He dived on it. But he said, no, nah, oh. I'll have it. Called it right. He did dive on it, but the umpire gave him some grace. What Haddock's been throwing himself in for Ranella. Rucks to go at it again. Jump well played. Well, he win that tap cleanly straight down the throat of Frick, who was wrapped up quickly by two tacklers. Gives it back to the umpire. We'll do it again. Ball up the third. Ruck's going at it once more. Comes out of there, or he's brought that back in, managed to get it out. He had to. Oh, he didn't umpire's, have it. Yeah. Yep. Umpire's got it correctly picked out a free kick to Norlunga here. He just wrapped his arms around him when he never had the ball. Here we go, Norlunga driving the ball up here on this outer wing. Goes up, off hands. Here's the shoes, just trying to move it forward. A great piece of work here. And I reckon this will go out and we'll see no longer come in with the ball. They'll take the relieving free kick here through Case Pike. Case Peach. Close enough. Close enough. A case of peaches. <laughs> 
Renella turned it over. This man's been prominent early. Good mark taken by Swain. He got his hands to that. Hasn't been clean so far, but he's been around the mark. Hard to be clean in conditions like this. That's a good kick. That was a lovely kick, wasn't it? Very sweet. Picked his man out there in Roberts, who's been everywhere. Roberts for Ranella. Looks to go forward now. They go deep in... Well, it's a shallow entry, but it got on the breeze and came back a touch. First genuine scoring opportunity. That's Just holding the ball. Great tackle. Oh, has he called holding the ball or What's did he, he not called? have it? He dropped it, yeah. Yeah, he just dropped it, yeah. The man on out here, and this is Brown, got through his hands. He's that man again. Called him a few times. He's been very prominent for the wine flies there in Ivathong, or I Ith Avong. Ith Avong. We'll get my I'll get my chops around. We'll get that. him right. We'll get it Ith right. Avong. By, by the end of the game, we'll have it right. Ith Avong. Close enough. He's been good. Here we go, right in front of us. It's a tough old game of footy, this one. Comes off hands, and the umpire will come in, and he'll toss it back in, will he? No. So it's come off the feet. Interesting. Well, they ricocheted that, off about four people before it went yeah, over the line. But... I really thought that was off hands. But I will. <laughs> Mark not taken. Spills off hands. Little kick goes forward. There's a foot race in play now. Renella get there first. Kicks it inboard. Not sure about that. Big fella there. Dive. Couldn't get to it in time. Mins tries to tap it out. Doesn't quite happen. There's a man here. If he can get it to him. Little dude just flicked it up with his toe. That almost worked beautifully for Daly. There's a man out the back here on the defensive side for Norlunga. And he will see it over the boundary line. He's been everywhere. Joel Brown. I've been everywhere, man. Liked his game already. We're still on that solitary point here to Norlunga. No score, Ranella. And Ranella are kicking with uh, about a four-goal breeze. Here we go. Know. The shoes go again through great work. Running onto it. Just a nice little chip forward. That was a brilliant kick forward. Oh. Just trying to shake and bake. Sure, Almost the tackle slipped down there. Not quite umpire said play on. And it's gone out over the boundary line. Be tossed in forward pocket. About 10 metres around from the right-hand goal post as you're looking at our screen. Both Ruckman fell over. Comes out now. Wineflies have some numbers. They'll look to run this out of defence. He left it behind. Let the shoes in. A shot on goal. That's the first. Good finish. Well, the shoes has been, it's all been all no longer. 1 1 7 on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Ranella yet to score. Had their chances to work that out of defence, and teammates were all over it. Now, it's back in the centre of Flinders University Stadium in the middle of the ground. We must be pretty good judges. Looking at the under-17 game we just finished, best on ground was Ryan Matthews, the Dermy look-alike, and the South LA player of the game was Alan Singh. And they have the two we thought were best. There you go. Michael Mantry, Bruce Phillips calling that one earlier. Reserves grand final continues on. We got a free kick here, have we? Yes, no longer uh, going to take a free kick. Man's come up there at first major touch. It's uh, I think that's Opperman. He kicks it to the hot spot. Up they go. Oh, a little bit early. <laughs> he bowled over about three or four of them. Uh, he crashed the pack, but about a week early there, Fry. <laughs> Resulting free kick going to Warman. The thought was there, wasn't it? Well, he, if he'd hung in the air for about thirty seconds, he might have taken that, but. Uh, Warming off the left. He's got a man on, but... Oh, oh that's a good up. take. Beautiful take. Well read, too. Cooper hit the ground like a cat and took off. He's got a man at half forward. It's a two-on-two two here, and the shoes win out. They've got a man on at centre wing. He takes the mark. Looking for options there is Gaskin. Gaskin, little chip over the top. He's got a man on. Oh, bounced off his head almost. Terrible work there from Robertson. 
They managed to get out of it, though. The shoes and there's a man on about 30 metres out directly in front. Good kick in the end. That's how you recover. Got the job done. It might not have been pretty, but the job is done. This has been a huge first quarter by Norlunga. It's Nathan Smith. Is it Smith or Hobson? Are they kicking into a four-goal breeze? Hobson it is, in fact. Apologies. Kicks from about 30 metres out of town to the left. Perhaps allowed for that breeze a bit too much. One goal, two. Mark on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Ranella yet to trouble the scorers. Oh, well smothered. Oh, oh missed again, Fry. That's a let off, wasn't it? It was. Great smother from Fry. Left footer. Missed. They're doing all the scoring at the moment. One, three, nine on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Ranella can't get it out of the defensive 50 at the moment. And that is quarter time, and it'll be a relieving break for Ranella. They've got some work to do at the break. Uh, Norlunga looking the goods, but uh, they've left their uh, opponents in the hunt at quarter time. 139. Forget that scoreboard there on the screen. It is 139. Wine flies, no score. And uh, we're at quarter time here on MFL TV Live. Reeve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.greaveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One-time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components. Copper and fittings. Flexible duct. Aluminium grills. Spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations. Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, footings to shed instalment. He can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray land and out in the Mallee. From farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colourbond sheds, cyclone rated sheds. With over 15 years experience, call Wayne today. For a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders license 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddons are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddons.com.au for more information. Duddons, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Right in that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. 
Yo, looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number... MFL TV Live, second quarter, about to get underway here from Flinders University Stadium. Norlunga, 139, Renella Wineflies, no score at quarter time. Michael Mantry's alongside him in the rucks. Go out of flashing through. There was Minns. Dropped the ball. And Renella will take the resulting free kick. Jeez, that was good work for Minns. Good on the move. He's but been a good footballer, I'll tell you, wow, Minns. I don't know. What's the umpire said here? Downfield. Downfield. Renella was uh, going to have a shot on goal here, are they? Holding a uh, free kick downfield. Wow, that's a big one. wasn't FAD. Is that Hunter? Chris Hunter it will be. Now, whether or not he's in range with his breeze, we're about to find out. He doesn't think so, so he goes short to a couple of leads. Man comes well up on the taken. lead too easy. Was well taken. Is that 27? Wait for it to turn around. I think it might be Cooper, but I can't quite see. I think you're right. I think it is Cooper who came up on the lead there. Luke Cooper. Saunders in. Will kick from 30 almost directly in front. Umpire does a little bit of work and says, no, that's missed out to the left. We've seen that a couple of times today, but that's Ranella's first score. They're on the board. Interesting with this breeze, you'd think. The breeze should be scoring the opposite way. It should be, but uh, it's not always the case with these fluky breezes across the oval. Oh, well, well taken there, wasn't it? Beautiful. By the no longer player. They'll go right down this outer, that outer wing there. Coming down. Almost taken. Ranella repel. Oh, it's holding the ball. He tried to bust through the pack. But the shoes player just held him up. Mins it is. Mins. Like I said, he's been a great player. Back with courage there. There's uh, a, now a... Uh, we've got a couple of players at the fall of the ball there. Umpire says play on. They're circling. Give it to me. It's always a worry when, he's, when they're circling, isn't it? Oh, he, he originally called play on. all. He's seen someone drag that in. But Rucks go at it. Tap over the top there uh, from uh, Styles, I think it was. But bursting away there now. Mins again. Goes long inside forward 50 for Norlunga. And hits the target. Opperman comes up to meet it. Beautiful kick from Mins. And Opperman didn't have to break stride. Going to get some advice. They're right in front of the uh, the grandstand here at Norlunga. Trots in. Kick from an acute angle just inside 50. Lands in the goal square. Fry went up. Mark taken over the back. Oh, are the only two that flew for it. They flew numerically there. Fry went early and Brown... Went back with the fly to the ball. Took the mark clearly in his hands, and he's going to kick from, well, mark. I mean, what's that, about seven metres out on a 45-degree angle? Even I could kick this, I think. And he comes. Brown comes in. We're right behind it. It's home. And the shoes got a 2-3-15. Ranella, that's solitary point. Back in the middle of the ground again, and we'll see what uh, Ranella can do about it this time. That's an important goal. Get one early with the aid of the breeze. It, uh, that ball just flew a little bit further over the back on the breeze, as we would expect. So if you're wondering um, where the breeze is blowing, you can see the Milk Panthers sign. It's probably blowing from that sign, maybe the uh, the Panthers emblem, across to uh, our scorecard graphic. Almost directly across the ground, but slightly to the southern end. Rucks go at it. Tossed up Minns this time. Couldn't get his hands on the ball, so he lays a tackle. He's everywhere, the big fella. Best on so far, Mark? Oh, yeah, no doubt. He, like I said, he's been a class footy player for a long, long time. Comes out the back on this occasion. Receives the handball and then fires one out, Minns. And all of that was classy. Donaldson grubbing it along the ground. The big Ruckman follows up. Burst through the pack and created a pathway for the footy. 
The Wine Flyers stand up now and they look to try and get some space to run the football. They can't. The shoes are everywhere tackling, but now, finally, they get some space here on centre wing and a lovely kick didn't quite find its mark. Mark really should have been taken there. It was a better kick than I probably gave it credit for. Sweeney spilled off his hands and it's out over the boundary line, Mark. And tossed back in here. We're on the half forward line here for Ranella. Ball comes up. Trying to burst through was the Ranella player. Just a shocker off the ground. Great play there. They just move, trying to move the ball forward. That'll be a stacks on. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. We've just gone 14 minutes here, the second term. It's a tough effort here. Oh, he almost kept that in, but just spilled out over the boundary line, Mark. They'll be thrown in. What are we, about 70 metres out from the southern goal? Northern goal, apologies. Ranella's attacking into the ground. Rucks tap it down. Been prominent as well for Norlunga there. Donaldson got a handball, but it's turned over now. Joshua Black gets the kick forward for the wine flyer. Spills into the hot spot area. They dive in, desperate to keep it in the area, the Ranella crew. And they're successful on this occasion. Last man up off the bottom of that pack there was uh, Will Darley. Famous name out here, Darley. Very much so. Oh, big tackle. Ball comes out of that. It's holding the ball. Let him know about it. Went on with it after the tackle. There's a lot of hair involved in that tackle. Shoes defending very, very well so far in the early going of this grand final. One pulled up in the breeze there. Good chain of handball over the top of the shoes, but the numbers in the end for Ranella will win out here. Can they be clean with it, though? That's the question. Now they go inside forward 50. That's a terrible kick off the outside of the boot. Boy, goodness. William Gregory nearly missed his foot there. In the end, though, again, numbers behind the ball. Mark taken here by that mystery man 29. If you know who that is, let us know in the comments, please. Going lower and harder on that occasion, Eddie Roberts. Roberts looks around. He's trying to find something there. He's having a really good look. Just decided to have a ping. Goes up there. Well held off the ball. There was the Ranella player. And he's grabbed the shoes one. And it'll be a free kick here to Norlunga. Just chips it nicely. There's three players there by themselves. They come around. Comes out here on this wing right in front of the commentary team. And it'll be held in here and the umpire will come in and toss it back in. Oh, up for feet. Just almost touched it. Gone out. Almost. No. Yes. The umpire said a high free kick and now he's called play on. Taking it off. Taking off with it was Roberts. Roberts long now into the forward pocket over the back. Little handball in board. Oh, he missed the target. He was two metres away from him and he couldn't <laughs> take it. Paddock Bob went on there. <laughs> no longer have dodged a bullet and they will clear. Oh, with a terrible little kick that didn't find a target. In the end, Carlisle Just picked it up. Just a dart, wasn't it? He picked it up and found a man. Now they've got some numbers. Out they go. The shoes here. Brown kicks it over the top of the man, Fry, who came up. He was clear too. And now it's turned over. Ranella have a chance in the middle of the ground. Smothered kick. No longer now. They turn it back over and they kick it to space. And we've got a foot race. Which way will the ball bounce? It barracks for no longer on this occasion. But there's a couple of wine flies around it. They'll work it out eventually. Well That's done. Gone. Tackle. Big tackle. Umpire says give it to me. But what an effort that was from Hobson. It was one on three, wasn't it? Three wine flies there, and Hobson wrapped the man up in the tackle, kept it in the area. Big effort. Just try to just hamble along the line. Oh, oh desperate stuff here by the Ranella player. He's held in. The umpire will come in and ball it up. Who was that? Joshua Black. Yeah, loved his work so far. He's been desperate. Probably Ranella's best so far. 
tap there from Styles. Oh, hello. Didn't have it. Gee whiz, Damon just got a little overexcited there. Free kick going now to Hocking. Hocking let him know too. Oh, well taken. Robinson. Robinson's about to drive the ball in. Goes into the teeth of goal. The shoes are trying to get some. This comes off hands. Oh, just touched. Umpire was on it straight away too. No longer was celebrating. And he's cool. Roberts was straight on it. He knew and he grabbed hold of it. Knowing that it was going to be a kick out. So... No longer go to 2-4. Rinella one behind on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Was it a point or did he call? No, it was definitely a point. Definitely a point. Straight away and he's turned it over, unfortunately, for the wine flyers here. He did some great work there. Roberts and then spoiled it, Mark, as quite often is the case. Kath Poulos. Kath Poulos, here we go. Having a deliberate attempt here. Just a big, long bomb. Swings away. Indiana was lucky to get a minor score. So they're dealing in ones at the moment, the shoes. They've been all over the wine flies to start this reserves grand final. This occasion, he runs it out. Roberts. No longer have men in board, but goes a little bit longer than that. It's going to land at the hot spot. Oh, Brunilla, no mark taken. That breeze is tough. Fry was on the outside. Instead, there we go. The banana na goes across the face of goal. Who's back on that now? Picking it up. He'll go the banana na Oh, lovely leg. How often do you see that? Jewel banana nas And we've got ourselves the third goal of the day. Norlunga kicking clear. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape and SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Fell TV live, bananas on special at Colonnades at the moment. There was a special banana there, kicking their third goal for the shoes. Ranella desperately need a goal. Wine flies in some trouble here. They go forward now. Can they get their hands on it? No. Gee, look at the shoes just working that out. He's been very good in defence. Great kick too. Found his man. Robertson comes up to take the mark. Keeps over the top. Fry comes up. Geez, he hasn't got good service today, Fry, but he's competed hard. Off his hands. He dives in. Umpire says, too hard. That was in the back. Tell you what, Damon did quite well as well there to get to the ball first to win the free kick mark. Here we go. Wide flies have to try to get a goal. Drives up on this outer wing. Up they go. Try to be dive up there. Oh, that's a high. And it'll be a high free kick here. That'll go to the Norlunga player. And that'll go to Case Peach. He'll get the ball, left footer, goes down the outer wing. Thumped over the line, right in front of us. And we see the score 2-5-15 to that solitary point. It's actually 3-5. Three, 3-5-15. Three, five. Three, five, My apologies. No, you're right. Mystery man just sported over the boundary line again to number 29. Again, if you know who that is and you're watching, you know, let us know in the comments. We didn't have the number 14 either, and that's a famous name down here, Will Darley, for the Norlunga, but that's uh, number 29 for the Ranella crew. If you know the who Phantom. that is, let us know. At the moment, he is the Phantom. Diving down there was the Ruckman. Couldn't quite work it out. He's had another go. Second effort. Fry dived in there. Oh, no, he's, that's not Fry. There's a couple with the long sleeves. That was Minns, of course. Minns, big body around the footy, isn't he? He's huge, isn't he? They go. Tapped off hands. Ruckman follows it up again. Jeez, he's been excellent. Works hard there in Eisen Hut. Now 
Yeah, what's the umpire? Oh, said he's here? called a handball. I thought it just come off. Oh, sure. Well, oh, oh, well, he was closer than me. The umpire's never wrong. Here we go. They dr- drive it up into the half forward line. Comes off hands, and we'll see a ball in this time. See the breeze grab hold of that one. Oh, no, it's unbelievable what this breeze is doing. You look at some of the flags that we see around the ground. It's just blowing straight across the ground. Sort of favouring the southern end. It's been all day, though. Given he's working into that breeze, the boundary umpire did a good job tossing that in. Fryer wraps him up his opponent. The bottom of that is Mac Warman. He'll be tossed up. About 60 metres out from the shoe's goal. Mins again flashing through. They couldn't take it on this occasion. Got knocked away from him. He's coming in for some special attention at the moment. Chris Mins. Umpire says free kick on this occasion. Where's it going to Fry? Fry, by the look of it. Fry kicks it as high and as long as he can. Look at the breeze. Get hold of that as well. Take it towards the forward pocket. Off hands. Escorted safely over the boundary line by Robertson. And it'll be tossed in again. Watch this boundary umpire, Mark. Let's see how he, what his work's like into this breeze. They've been pretty good, the umpires today. That's an amazing throw in. Oh, he backs himself in. Fry got up third man. Tapped it down in the end to a teammate. Bit of a ricochet rabbit aerial ping pong stuff going on there. Hobson escorts that one over the boundary line. This comes out of his hand like a missile. Up it goes. Love of the work of this boundary umpire. Ranella. They won't care about that. They need to work it out of defence. Coming up, picking the ball up on the half volley, having a shot on goal. Two number eights there combined almost. Eddie Roberts did some fine work in defence after Brown had a flying shot at goal. What have we got here? Is it a behind or a boundary throw in, Mark? Boundary throw in, I think it's going to be. I think you're right. This will test the young boundary umpire. Let's see how he goes. Oh, never in doubt. Perfect throw in. Perfect ruck work too. Back go the shoes to go forward. Oh, he couldn't get through there. Probably unlucky not to get a free kick for holding the ball or incorrect disposal there, the wine flies. But Donaldson did enough, obviously, to get a hand to it. And now we'll have a ball up. Just going to be one of them tough old games, this one. He's a bit of a snap. Goes up there. What's it going to do? It'll be a minor score. And the shoes go on to 3 6 24. Lead in the wine flies, just that solitary point. Abs- Goes out of here. Absolutely dominant at the moment, aren't they, Mark? Brilliant here by Richards. They really are just dominant. They're just doing what they want. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I thought it might have been. Dropping the ball or something there. They're fighting in hard here. That's got to be holding the ball. No. Umpire's just letting it go. They know how tough it is out there. Here's no longer driving that ball up. Oh. Three on one. They, the two of them oh. run into each other. Friendly fire and there are two shoes down. One face down, the other one flat on his back, and they are in real trouble here, the boys. It was friendly fire, courage from both parties. Oh. I don't know if we've got a replay today or not. Lockie? I think one's Thomas. I I can't quite see the other one. Thomas and... It's Carlisle, number 16. Carlisle has got a serious limp up. Pooping That's him. Thomas. Thomas and Carlisle. Jeez. Shows how desperate the shoes are to win this grand final. What about it? I'm not sure uh, Thomas knows where he is at the moment. The trainers, I don't know, they've ticked him off. Carlisle's got a decent old corky too. Yeah, he's copped a nasty one out of that. Uh, but if the ball comes towards him, he gets a shot on goals. I bet he livens up. Here we go. What's the up bar? Too high. It'll be a Ranella free kick. Oh, look, the breeze is going to get hold of this one again. So, oh, big oh. collision again. Massive. Back, 
Back with the flight of the ball there. Love that from uh, Kai Delaney. In fact, sorry, that was the opposition. That's Goldfinch, uh, 24 for Norlunga. But that was Courage. And spoiling it there was either, either Vong. There they go again. The two boys at it again. Round two. This time it was Goldfinch going in low and hard. And there's the siren. Slow to get up there was William Gregory at the end of the second quarter. Norlunga dominant, 3-6-24. Ranella one behind at half time here at Flinders University Stadium. And the boys will head off to the huddle and try and get some relief from this freezing cold breeze. And we'll uh, take a break. We'll come back with the second half live from Flinders University Stadium. Norlunga leading by 23 points at half time. Yo, looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number 39. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Can't wait to drive my new used car. Service and finance the best by far. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. A name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishers. Phone 853-22500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At Solomon's, we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters, and our fantastic made-to-measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo 0411 389 Hey, Bob, your carpet's looking dirty. Yeah, it needs a clean. It needs a canard clean. Make your job easy with canards. Carpet, footy clubs, windows, office cleans. All your cleaning products for purchase. Toilet rolls, chemicals, floor cleaners with shampoos and conditioners. Contact Paul Canard, 35 Adelaide Road, Pinaroo. Phone 0419 180-924. Canard Clean, cleaning the Mallee and beyond. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from Still Specialist Stores. Find yours online, better still. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire...
There you go. We're on, apparently, everyone. MFL TV Live. About to start the third quarter. We're just going to check the scores. We might be a point out here, but it's pretty close to that. What you see on your screen. It might be 3-5-23, we reckon, but we're just waiting for that to get confirmed on the scoreboard. I'm buys at halftime through up across. Big Bruce Phillips joins me in the commentary position, and we are away. G'day, Jace. How are you? Good, mate. Uh, we need some uh, quick goals here from the Wine Flyers. Ranella have been soundly beaten so far. Ball up the second. <clears throat> up they go. Punched away. Oh, she's shoebox in there. Good tackle. The umpire says over the shoulder. So, good start here for Ranella. It will be the six of uh, black. Drives it long. Breeze aids him a little bit of distance. To half forward. One for the runners. Two on two. Bit of body work. Oh, that's high. Umpire too far away to see that, but definitely come in over the head, didn't he? Yes. Umpire says, no, toss it in. That breeze is just brutal at the moment. Boundary umpire does a good job again. Tosses <laughs> it in. Mins it was the man at the back there, and he ended up playing the role of the Ruckman. Flashing through there in the end for no longer. It was Daly. He goes long to half forward. Now we'll have uh, a ball up. That's going nowhere. About 70 metres out from the southern goal. Maybe 80 metres out. No longer kicking to that in this quarter. Tossed up. Ruck's going at it again. Fry came in third man up. Got a little tap out. Ronella just cannot be clean enough to work the ball out of defence. We saw this in the first quarter. Just to, That's it. Just throw it on the boot and hope. That's what they've done. Back with the flight with courage. Couldn't take the mark. Now Ronella have a couple of numbers here. They'll work it out in the end. Uh, Damon went nowhere. Ronella have a man at the back. Clever little kick forward from Case Pake. Now they'll go forward. That man who was involved in that courageous um, bit of friendly fire earlier on in the last quarter, Carlisle turned it over. And now Ronella, it's in the middle of the ground. A bit of a foot race there. Mins with his class. Got a handball out to a teammate. Run down, says the umpire. That's holding the ball. Will that lift them, Bruce? Well, <coughs> something's got it. That's inspirational. But, uh, yeah, they need <coughs> something on the scoreboard. The uh, Ronella wine flies. And it will be taken here by Black. Goes out to the uh, club room side. No mark taken out there. The umpire puts the seagull sign up in the air. Says, play on. It gets kicked down a half forward, but well chopped off by Ranella and the big, tall centre-half back. Drives it out to our commentary box side. Oh, well stolen there by uh, Ranella. That was uh, third, was it Sweeney? And uh, to half forward, well taken here. Chance here for Ranella. That is the 29, who we don't have on our program. Play on's the call. Could have got one in the back there. The umpire says no. Played for it. There's a call of ball. Play on's the call again. Umpire's put the whistle away. And a strong tackle in there on 50. Ball comes inside 50. Players trying to get the ball on ground level. And the umpire's found it free for a hold. And it will go the way of Norlunga. And it was through the agency of... Uh, just trying to work out that 29. Good crowd in the house here at Flinders University Stadium. And that's a rarity. We haven't seen the ball get kicked out, of, out on the full on that outer side or the club room side today. So an unusual one there. Can happen in that spot, though, because the grandstand looks like protects. It's taking a kick again, I think, yeah. anyway, so it won't make a lot of difference. But uh, You allow for the breeze coming out of defence in that very spot, and uh, it doesn't doesn't come back grandstand. because of the grandstand. Yeah, it just gives you that uh, shelter of the wall, doesn't it? And short kick, same area. This time keeps it in. Ranella can't take the mark. Ball goes to ground level. Good handball out. few numbers around here. And no longer come away with it. Down that outer side. And a good stretch mark taken over there. Can't quite get his number. And uh, they'll clear it down towards the half forward, full forward area. Oh, bang! The oh. four players just came through and went bang. It was like a ton of bricks coming down. Roberts is in real trouble for Ranella out of that with a crook, uh, corky, I think. Oh, that was uh, really hard and desperate. No longer get the crumbs. Oh, he almost threw it away. The umpire says, yes, you did. Hey, these specs aren't too bad after all. <laughs> <laughs> Kicks to our commentary box side. It's all Ranella taken here by the 29 We've of got him. Walter. Beautiful. Thanks to our viewer that's uh, tuned FAD in. FAD 
uh, FAD as well, and that's going to go back inboard to the man. In fact, it's not just a genuine 25-metre penalty. And that was a poor throw by his teammate. He's just allowed all those Norlunga blokes to man up on his uh, on their opposition. So he's going to sit here. If he takes any longer, it'll be Christmas time. Chips it over. Oh, oh. yep. Got it in the end. Good pass. We'll give it to him. Styles plays on. Quick handball over there to Davies. Drives it in long. Up they go over the back. Players go in hard. Dive on the footy. Oh, big numbers in there. Stacks on. And the umpire will ball it up. He About will. 45 from goal. Plenty of numbers around this one. Be tossed up. Rucks go at it. Coming in over the top there in the end for Norlunga. That was Eisenhardt who's been <coughs> the master. In the ruck contest. He dived in again. And then was smart enough to leave it to his teammate who came in from the front. And I'll tell you what, they were very unlucky there not to get a hold of the ball decision. Now, Jase, you've been down here a few times this year. Is this yes. the worst conditions you've seen this year for footy? No. <laughs> no. Uh, I called a game out here earlier in the year between South Adelaide and I think it was West Adelaide. And uh, we had horizontal rain for about three quarters of that game. Yes, I reckon I might have seen a bit of that. That was a pretty heavy rain too. And uh, Oh, he's got a free kick yep, here. There's and a I'll heavy one on the shoulder. He's earned it. He's been good all day, this boy. This is Daniel Paddock for Ranella. In fact, he's not going to get it. He should have. He could have taken a free kick as well. This is Ryan Frick. And really does need to, uh, well, put this through or at least get a... Should get the distance, I would have thought. Unfortunately, you see this all the time out here. Don't give the goals away, son. Kick it to the right goalpost. He started it out too far, and it didn't come back. It's a trap when you don't play here too often. We'll get a snap at goal. No. I'll come back to that in a minute, Bruce. Yes, well, you've been out here and know how it all the land lies out here, Jase. So... Uh, you're the master, down towards that uh, oh, half forward line. Oh, he's gone again. Yeah, big crash over there. Umpire comes in, stacks on the mill, and there's going to be some sore bodies out oh, of that. A little on. bit of argy-bargy in and there. And he's had enough. He's had enough, and I don't blame him. He's been cleaned up a couple of times now, uh, Paddock. Umpire throws the ball up, says, let's play on. He does. Down inside 50. Coming out. Oh, going for the body hard there from Ronaldo was Paddock. And he wants some more. He's, look, he's bumping everyone he can run through. This is a man inspired. Can yeah. he lift his team? Can his team go with him? This boy's thrown himself in all afternoon. He's been cleaned up about half a dozen times. Tapped away. Good work there by Styles. Our replay. solid name. Here we go. MGA <laughs> replay. Whoa, look at that. Through he came. Definitely no prisoners there, eh? And uh, a ruck jewel here. About 35 out. They badly need a goal here, oh. the boys from Ranella. All of a sudden, it's starting to look like a grand final. Ranella have lifted, but no longer are going with them. Mins couldn't get his hands to that. It's spilled out over oh, the boundary good line. Good smother there in the end from William Gregory. That was off the boot of <coughs> Case Pake. Yeah, we've seen one earlier in the Colts that uh, pretty much saved the game. Just uh, don't get rewarded enough to 1% as the smothers, and that was great footy on that occasion. Tossed in now. Rux will go at it again. Comes off hands. Trying to get hold of it was Frick. He couldn't mince. Just class. Couldn't get a kick in the end. The umpire says that's holding the ball, does he? No, he keeps going in again, Frick. It spills out now. It lands in uh, Norlunga players' hands. And that was uh, Minz who flashed through originally. But his teammate was the last man up bottom of the pack there in Geskin. And it's tossed up now. Hit into space out the back of this pack. Can Ranella find someone to run onto the footy and get a shot on goal? The answer there, no. They've got plenty of bodies diving in, but no longer are matching their intensity. They just can't get any clean footy at the moment, Bruce. Yeah, they just can't get that uh, bit of real estate to, uh, to, to set some play up. Uh, they're just manning up too well, aren't they? Back in there they go. In towards the goal square. Oh, push at the back there, Paddock. He's got a chance here, but it goes off hands and a crash into the point post. And a bit of oh, a bit of by play there, now. Nah. He didn't go on with it. And uh, we'll have a kick in a minor score on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard to the Ranella Wineflies. They move to two points, trail 3-5 to Norlunga. Certainly in the box seat on a day with pretty poor conditions. Kicked out towards the grandstand. Front spot, couldn't take the mark. Off hands, comes to ground. 
And the umpire will come in and ball it up right in front of the Southern Football League bus. And you have to think if uh, Ronella don't make some inroads here, uh, Jason kick a goal in this quarter, they're going to find it pretty hard, I think, from here. Kai Delay, we're going to talk about his <coughs> boots in a minute. He's uh, climbing the joint up. Look at those yellow and red boots. Boy, you want to be able to play if you're going to whack them on. He's been all right. The ball's been over there. A bit of a stalemate in the last three or four minutes in that area. Umpire's picked out a free kick here, and I think it's going to go to Ranella. <laughs> um, Donaldson gives the ball back eventually after he confirms he's got it. Ranella now kicked to the hot spot. Up they come back with the flight with Courage. Couple of no longer defenders. Oh! He tried to kick it, and then he didn't. And uh, the umpire said in the end he, he didn't have it, but I'm pretty sure he had it at some point. Not sure about that one. He's a yeah. very lucky boy there, Nathan Smith. <laughs> Certainly was. Thought Paddock might have had the free kick. Kicked out outside 50. Up they go, and a good mark in these conditions. Just didn't quite get his number. That was a good mark. Drives it down the centre wing area. Up they go, and another good mark taken there by the Norlunga player in Fry. Waste no time, drives along. That's a beautiful kick to the leading full forward oh. right on his chest. It doesn't get better than that. Lace out. And the mark taken there by Norlunga's big full forward in Opperman. And he should go back and have no troubles here, allowing for the breeze. Definitely should get the distance. And a matter of kicking through the ball and allowing for that uh, good three metres outside on the left post. And he hasn't allowed enough. And it's gone to the right-hand side, which keeps the door open for the wine flies. Again, I, I'll say it. Again, I touched on this earlier on here at Norlunga. Never, regardless of how strong the breeze is, never give the goals away. And I'll explain why in a minute, Bruce. See it all the time with people who don't play here very often. It's why the Panthers have a very strong advantage on this ground when they utilise it. Talk more about it later on in the broadcast because the A-grade boys are going to have to be aware of it as well. It's tossed in. And all of a sudden, a stalemate stacks on the mill and we'll have a ball up. Up they go, punched away. Ranella win the ruck straight down to that man from Norlunga in Fry. Up towards full forward, the run of the mill there, but it's just ran away from him and touched over the line and a boundary throw in just a few metres from the point post. Sets up a chance here for uh, Norlunga, and uh, if they could snap a goal out of this pack, you'd pretty much think they've shut the door. Punched away. Oh, good tackle. Strong tackle. And the umpire's actually going to pay a free for, well, a hold, I guess. I didn't see it that way, but uh, obviously too long on the tackle. Good kick out of there. Good mark taken by Cooper. Down the grandstand wing. They're travelling very quick here. Just couldn't quite mark it. Oh, tough work in there. Paddock's got a chance here. Picks it up. Dodges a would-be tackler. Has to handball it out. Gets it to his teammate who snaps it around the body. That was a Damon to full forward. It could bounce through, but it goes to the left-hand side as it's done all day. And out of bounds. The Paddock boys have been good for the wine flies. Not a folic between them. He's got a bit of... Courage and a bit of grunt about him, hasn't he? Well, yeah. there's two of them. There's Michael, Michael, Paddock, yeah. Michael and Daniel, and neither of them are, uh, are going to trouble the uh, the hairstylist much down at uh, Colonnades. Let's just put it that way. Back in there again. Over there, bit of vacant land. Oh, good evasion. Snap around the body. Looks pretty good. They got it's it. It's very good. Ranella kicked there first. Meet at the Mow combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meet at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meetatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door.
the centre of the clearance with Ranella. They've just lifted a cog. Chance here. There's a cry of ball, but no longer breakthrough there. Taking the footy is Donaldson. Through the middle to half forward. Up they fly. Oh, good catch. That's as good as you'll see. Play on's the call. That was Fry. Up to full forward. Good spoil at the back. Oh. Could have got a high one. He'll get the free. Yes, I thought he might have just got clipped high or pushed. And he'll get the free. The Number one, maybe he's the captain. Number one usually is Richards. Goes short, finds a teammate in the back pocket. It looks like it might be Roberts. Roberts, one of their best today. The wine flies he's held up when some of his teammates didn't early in the game. Off hands. Comes down. Minns is there loitering. He gets it eventually. Look at that handball too. Just fired it out. Kick inboard was smothered, sort of. And found a teammate in the end. It couldn't have been smothered because he's paid the mark, the umpire. And uh, good mark. agricultural kick inside defensive 50. He's got it once more. Finds a teammate who couldn't take the mark. Tries to go the fend off. No, thank you. Carlisle wrapped him up. And what's the umpire said? Surely that's a free kick. No. No. He has got it. Yeah, it was a free kick. It is. Incorrect disposal. Chips it over the top. Has he found a teammate he has? Well, the guys on the hill over there would have gone mad if it wasn't. Big crowd over there in Bay 13. Drives it in long. Up they go. Or pushed underneath Tunnel. it. He'll get the free. Didn't need to do it either because it was going over his head, Fry. And he has really lifted, hasn't he, uh, Fry? He's been a real focal point on this forward line, Matt Fry. And he's got a chance now in that pocket. 45 degree angle. Probably about 35 out. And uh, the breeze on that side. So that pocket that side, a little easier than uh, the pocket on this side. We've seen some pretty bad shots for goal in the earlier games. And look, there's another one. Oof. And it's missed the lot. I've been tough Out on, on the, the goal kicking today. But uh, look, if you've got a high ball drop, it's, it's a lottery, let's be honest, today. The wind's going to blow it out of your, your drop line before it hits your boot, isn't it? Pretty much. And uh, not an easy task today. Oh, Fry again sweeps it over. Oh, Minns is just about had his head taken off. And the umpire's called holding the ball. My goodness. He said he's ducked, has he? Anyway, Ranella have taken the free kick. Not sure about that, but they play on. They ran forward to the ball there, uh, the wine flies, as soon as the decision was paid. Now there's a bit of a box on between, uh, what do we got on the back here, Rogers and... Having a little to do now. Oh, geez, they're throwing themselves in. It, it's got the grand final feel about it now. It's now. just stepped up a cog right in front of that grandstand. And there's a big crowd on there getting in amongst it too with some yeehaws and jihars. Oh. Up to full forward over the back. Chance here for Ranella. They could get a late goal. It'll be sensational for them. But it's cleared by Norlunga. Out to that to grandstand side. Out of the danger zone. Run on too well. Turns them inside this oh. way, that way. Good footy. Kicks it to half forward. Some vacant land out there. The Ranella have got the run of it. It's at number one in the Richards. Chips it over to a teammate. Can't take the mark, but the umpire's found a free, I think. Didn't quite see that. The umpire a long way away. Eddie Roberts it is who's got it now, Bruce. He kicks it long to a contest. Comes off hands. Went over the back of that contest. Spilled out now. Coming up to meet it. Little handball through there from Brown. Couldn't find a teammate, though. And in All the bit end, happening there. A little bit of a wrestle over the boundary yeah. line. Ball will be tossed back in right in front of the Norlunga coach's box. Ruck's going at it here. Contesting hard there was Powell. He's having a run in the, uh, the ruck on this occasion. There's that paddock again. The boys, they're just throwing themselves in, those paddock boys. The sun's come out. Jace, beautiful day. What are we complaining yeah. about? Joshua Black, yep, <laughs> as well. He's joined the Follettley Challenge Brigade. Who cares if he's throwing himself in like that? No wonder he's got no hair. He's had his head taken off about four times today. Now they're away. Long kick, the wine flies. They've been good in this quarter. That was Paddy coming up to meet it there of the uh, Michael variety. Just missed with his handball. Dives back in to lay a tackle. Couldn't quite, oh, got through his legs there and... I've got some numbers now. It's a foot race coming out towards the wing 
Oh, beautiful pick up one handed. He's got a man on inboard. Will he get there in time? That was quality football from Sweeney. Yeah, clever there. And uh, taken there by, uh, as you said, Sweeney. Up to uh, center wing. Oh, dives in there. Once again, no longer pressure from Fry on uh, Powell. And the umpire comes in. He says, my ball, boys. Another ball up. Just forward of centre for Norlunga. Up they go. Oh, takes it out of there. And the siren goes. Won't be any score for three-quarter time in this uh, grand final day here at Flinders University Stadium. Gee, didn't that quarter go quick? And on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard, we've got Norlunga 3-5-23. And Ranella on one, two, eight. A quick look uh, at the better players you're seeing at the moment, Jace. Uh, yeah, three quarter time here. Paddock, um, take your pick, both of them. But I, I, I really love Daniel's game, number nine, uh, for Ranella. I've also enjoyed Joshua Black. He's been good for them. Um, Ford or Lunga, they've had good players all over the ground. But Mins, who was a little bit quieter in that quarter, he was uh, fantastic in the first half. Fry coming up the ground to meet it. For Norlunga with that lead-up option, he's been good. Um, I think it's uh, fairly safe to say, though, that at the moment there's good players across the ground for both sides. Uh, Joel Brown's been pretty good. Um, and uh, Sammy Carlisle, he uh, had that friendly fire incident late in the second quarter, but he bounced back a little bit in that third and really uh, did a nice job for Norlunga. So they've probably got more winners at the moment. Eddie Roberts <coughs> from Ranella should mention him as well. I think he's been close to best on ground. But uh, pretty even contest, as you would expect. Um, Ranella, um, slow start in that first half. They certainly picked it up in that third quarter. And at uh, three-quarter time, Norlunga in the box seat, 3-5-23. Tough to score today. Uh, Ranella, 1-2-8 on the Murray Valley Shed scoreboard. Bruce? Yeah, good stuff, Jace. It's three-quarter time. We'll take a break and wet the whistle. Come back with the run home in the reserves clash. Grand final day of Southern footy. You're watching MFL TV Live. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dacia Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandiapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kandiapan Hotel nearly four years, but it's the year's experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupham Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Knaupham a place to stay and relax at the Knaupham Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot. Duke's Highway, Knaupham. Phone... 08-8571-1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Around here, we love our Golden Grain. And we love our Golden Grain Hotel. Open from 11am, seven days a week. And meals available every night. With theme nights four nights a week. Including burgers, pizza, steaks and Thursday nights a schnitzel night. Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials. MFL TV Live, the final term of the reserves grade grand final for 2022. The last hurrah. Can Ranella find something and come home with a wet sail? 
We're about to see the next 20 minutes. Don't go anywhere. Stay on MFL TV Live. Sit down, hang on, get the coffee and watch a beauty. Oh, great tackle in the middle. And the umpire will do it all again. Three ball ups inside the first 30 seconds. And it's going to be a tough, hard battle. You think Ranella need the first goal to have a chance. In hard they go. Handballed out. No longer couldn't get that through Mins. Goes to ground. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. Mins on the bottom of that pack. Four ball ups inside a minute. Up they go. Front spot. Oh, straight through. Good work there by the shoes. Handballed out. Got it over to Donaldson. Quick kick to half forward. Over the back. Again, clean hands by the shoes. Snap towards goal. Up they go. Oh, oh beautiful mark. Beautiful mark in the square by the shoes. A little bit similar to yours, truly. Stick the jukes up. Let it stick. And then hold the ball aloft. Done that a few times, Mark Marjorie. I've seen you in action, Bruce. Don't worry about that one. And he'll in go he back. Comes, in comes Opperman. And that just about be game. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop, Air Diffusion Agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. MFL TV Live. Well, I think, uh, don't sit on the fence, uh, Mark. Give it a call, a King Kumi call. I think it's over. I think they've got this game, the shoes. Yes, yeah, be pretty hard to kick four goals from here. Back in the centre, up they go. Big thump by Styles. Ball goes to ground. Stacks on the mill. We'll have a ball up. And we'll do it all again right on the centre of that wicket. Up they go. Tapped away. Norlunga. Punch it away. First on it there is the Paddock. He might have got one in the back. Play on's a call. Good second effort. No. Oh, yes, there is a free. So, I think it was a push. A push in the back, was it? And the free will go with Norlunga through the agency of Fry. That's no, Vanilla Frick. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, Frick. I had F, right? <laughs> you was almost there, Bruce. Over to Norlunga. Chance here. Oh, strong tackle. Good hands, umpire will say, play on to advantage. He does. Oh, He tried to have him, didn't he? He did. The two number eights go at it. Play on's the call. Loose ball in the tackle. Good work in there by Norlunga and Fry. Oh, it's a tough shoebox in there. We'll have a throw up. Oh, not much room to work in there. And the umpire will try and clear it out with a throw up. Centre wing right in front of our commentary box. Tapped away. Good work there by Ranella in Styles to half forward. One for the markers. Good crumbing by the uh, Ranella. Wine flies. He'll have to kick him. it. He's gone. Oh, what a tackle. Yeah, great tackle. Obviously no voice. Game saving those tackles like that. Yeah, should have kicked a goal. Just a nice little kick out here to Case Pake. Here's that mark earlier down in the goal square. MGA replay. Beautiful mark. Great Just camera work by up. the ladies. And Norlunga. Chip it short. Good mark. Taken here by the eight, I think it is, of uh, Brown. It. Drives it to half forward. Up they go at the back. Plenty of numbers for the wine flies. Quick handball sweeping over the top. One on one, bang, comes through the Norlunga shoes. Oh, that was a heavy knock. Play on's the call. They take it away, Ranella, through Roberts. Down towards uh, half forward inside 50. One that's got to bounce, Case Pake's way. Case Peach's way. Play on's the call. And it goes out of bounds. And here's the action replay. Look at that. Just run him down and put him to the ground. MGA standing by you. There was no standing on that one. Up to a half foot. Good mark in the pack taken there 
for Ranella by Frick. Goes in long, one for the markers. The crumbs of with That's Gascon. Gone. Good tackle. And the umpire says, holding the ball. And a chance here for Ranella. Go back and quicker kick. Go back and kick a quick goal. Say that quickly. And close the gap. It's Cooper, is it? In comes Cooper. This is so, so important. Drives it up there, and it's gone all the way. The wine flies are saying it's not over yet, but, oh, gee, it's going to take a big effort. They'll go under 2-2, two, two, 14. Trailing the no longer shoes, 4-5-29. I know it's only 15 points, but three goals is going to be a big effort here. As the sun breaks out. Oh, beautiful day uh, after a rotten morning. Well, it's still pretty windy. Uh, it's nice in the commentary box, but uh, certainly uh, very rough conditions out in the centre. And uh, reserves clashing. Great Southern Wollonga 1-7. My Ponga Selix 5-5. Five, five. So the uh, Mudlarks look to be home there too in the Strath Reserves. In the uh, Great Southern, sorry, Reserves at Strath. No, it's at Goolwa. At, at Goolwa Goolwa. today. So, uh, yeah, they look to be home there, don't they, the uh, Mudlarks? Back in there they go, hard at it. Oh, he could have probably got that out. He just sort of stood and waited for the tackle. The umpire says it's all okay. He gets up and we'll have another ball up. Good work there by uh, Black. Up they go, fisted away there by Styles. Oh, good attempt to mark it. Play on's the call. Ambled out. Bit of vacant land there. Good work by Norlunga. Just seemed to have a spare man all the time. Another good Big strong tackle. tackle. Right in front of that grandstand. And we'll have another ball up. 4-5 plays 2-2. Two, two. Low scoring affair. Don't see many grand finals in B grade with four goals. Win the match. Up to half forward inside 50. Oh, a bit of this away, that away. Ranella tried to do too much. Good tackle. And another, another good tackle. One. And holding the ball this time. Well, it was probably no different to the first one, Mark. And the umpire certainly not giving a second chance. And Norlunga will go back in this pocket and shoot for goal. Great to have uh, Jace Regan and Mark Kulmatri with us today with some... Uh, Rotation in the commentary box, and that looks like it's going to rotate hey, uh, through the middle. That is the goal of the day. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and community football. To the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here in the community, at your local and on the hill. Back in the centre, up they go. No longer get the clearance with the tap. The big giant Ruckman, he's got control of this in Eisenhut. Up towards half forward. Good work there. I think that might have been Paddock clears it to a vacant Paddock. One for the runners. Who can grab the footy? Good pressure just pushed him off the ball. Umpire said fair and love and war to half forward. Good run of it here by Norlunga and Hobson. Over to his teammate who quickly kicks it into full forward. Diving attempt to mark. The crumbs are with Ranella, and they kick it out, and it bounces over the top of that running pack. Good chance here. Couldn't quite take it with him. Was Sir Case Peach? Play on the call. Handled out the back by. Um, I wasn't. Too, that was Davies. Oh, a strong tackle. There's definitely a free kick there, and it'll go with the 26. And down towards that full forward area. Good catch. 
Beautiful mark at full forward. There for Ranella by Frick. He dodges around a would-be tackler. Two, and he's gone. Umpire says he's handballed at play on. Lucky to get away with that. In there's Paddock punched out. Oh, there's bodies going everywhere on the ground. Soccer out of there. Ranella get the crumbs. Quickly handballed out. It's pressure footy. It's gone up a cog. A quick kick by the number seven. And it was uh, for um, Ranella and uh, Frick. And it's gone uh, out of bounds on the full. A big game here. Sorry, but I had to get out there. Uncle Roger Rigney was walking oh, past. The great, the great Wombat. I don't know if he played in and won six premierships for Sturt. Oh, he was a champion, wasn't he, Roger Rigney? And uh, still looking quite well too. So uh, good to see him here out and about at the Southern Grand Final. And that'll go over the boundary line. And Touched will have a throw in right on centre wing. A few tight bodies starting to appear out there now. Extremely tight. 5-5-35, five, five, 2 2 14. Took the words right out of my mouth as uh, the uh, Norinella Ruckman took that out of the air. Kicks it down and it's gone out of bounds. And just a bit happening here between uh, the 29 of uh, Ranella in uh, Brad Walter. And... They're just letting them know. Yeah, like, bit, oh, yeah. bit of love and war. That's all. It's, uh, I think it's all done now. The Pretty hard to come home from here. It's, it's the win, Bruce. It's, it's it's not that three goals, it's just that wind. It's yeah, just it's a real, great havoc. Yeah, factor of being able to use the breeze. Good mark yeah. here by Ranella's uh, Brad Walter as he drives it long and a good pass in the end. Good take there by the uh, Pat Davies, Patrick Davies, sporting on the back of his Guernsey 88. The great team at Air Diffusion Agency. It's great to have there. Sponsorship for the Southern Finals. In towards uh, the full forward area. Ball goes to ground. Stacks on the mill. Oh, oh big clash. Clash. Play on's the call. No fear for the body. And it goes out of bounds in front of the Norlunga 26 in uh, Terry Kathapoulos. And we'll have a throw in. Thrown in. Tap down. Norlunga with the footy. Out to the number six for Ranella in black, and he'll get... No, he won't get a free kick. It'll be a ball up. Kick down to the vacant piece of land right in front of our commentary box. Well taken and out of bounds. For the 20 of Ranella in uh, Hunter. And we'll have a throw in, and the 25 of Norlunga in uh, Nicholas Robinson. Up they go. And Mark's just popped out of the commentary box. That's what it's about, catching up with friends at Community Footy. Up towards the full forward. Good take there. Oh, good tackle. Oh, just pulled him down hard on the leg. Getting up a little bit proppy, but there's some sore bodies out there. Yeah, he's just getting up a little bit proppy is the 27 of Cooper. And Norlunga with the ball in hand. Long kick, but it's uh, gone. Out on the full, just about went right out of the ground. And the free kick here to be taken by Norlunga on the half-back line. Oh, sorry, Ranella on the half-back line. And uh, it is Davies, drives it in. Needs a mark down there, and he's got one. Good catch. Plays it on quickly. Does Powell. And another good mark. Good piece of footy there by Ranella. Scoreboard doesn't really show how close this game's been. And this will be taken by Brock Richards. Richards. No, it's not Richards. It's a Frick. And he has kicked it. Frick's got another one. They won't lie down the wine flies.
Reef Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Back in the centre, up they go. Looking for a clearance. Good work here by the shoes. Tough contest there with Johnson. Down inside 50. One for the runners. Good work there by Ranella. Just worked himself into it. That was uh, Inverthong. And we'll have a ball in right on uh, half forward, about near the 50 metre line. It's good Ranella have not given up. They're really playing this game out. Yeah, well, there's about four minutes left. So still really time to kick two goals. But I've been known to be wrong, Bruce. Yeah, whether they're going to be good enough is going to be hard. I think they need three goals anyway. But Ranella. Oh, good and Orlando take. just playing too well, just things like that. And that was uh, Lane. Goldfinch. He's been in it. Down to a half forward. No mark. Ball at ground level. A little ton of ball out the back. Sometimes you can be get caught with that. Run away here by Black. And it's gone too, too far, far again. Yeah, we've seen that a few times today, haven't we? And we'll have a last off free kick going the way of Norlunga through the agency of uh, Case Peach. He goes long. Good front spot. Couldn't quite complete the mark. And as a result, stacks on. We'll have a ball up. That was a 25 in Robertson, a real focal point. Tall timber down there at uh, full forward. Get caught out a little bit to commentating on this ground with the size of it, don't you, Mark? Yeah, definitely. Sometimes you think it's at half forward, but it's or into the pocket, but it's still at half forward. Quick kick out of there near the 50, and it goes out of bounds. And I think we might have a last off. We do. Yep, Ronaldo will take this ball again. One flies, but get a move on. They've only got a couple of minutes. They can kick two goals in two minutes, but maybe not. When you see players like that cutting it off in Goldfinch. Yes, he's uh, played well. Drives it up inside the 50. Chance here for Ranella to defend. Too high. And a high tackle. And the free kick will go the way of the wine flies in that back pocket. The, I think it might have been the number, is it the number eight of Roberts. Not sure. Drives it to half back. Big fist from the 12 of Norlunga in bed and it goes out of bounds out to 80 metres around from the goal front thrown in, one on one good body work there by Brown good tackle by Ranella in black and another ball up yes, just over a minute to go, minute 20 and the boys pretty much just going through the motions now up they go. Quick kick out of there. Maybe time for another score. Play on's the call. Went without it. Tapped out. Oh, it's a tight shoebox in there. We'll have another ball up. It's a big, almost over here. This has been a great game of footy here. Been very, very tough and hard. Up they go once again. It's the closing seconds to go. Almost game. We'll see the shoes. They'll go back. Just take it very, very easy here. No hurry. And Carlisle. Carlisle just chips it forward. Oh, so easy. And they know the flag is theirs. Here we go. I reckon Robinson will just about have the last kick of the game. We're right behind this kick. It's going to take a good one from out there. It's going to be a very, very tough. In he comes. 
There's the siren. Shoes the premiers. Oh, they're very excited. Look at this crowd running on. They are elated, this little longer team. You didn't kick it? No, he kicked it into the man. But it didn't matter. No longer our premiers. 5 5, 35 to Ranella, 3 2, 20. And what has been a very tough brand of footy. Oh, it's been tough right throughout the day, hasn't it? Contending with a really strong breeze. And probably that game has been the driest game so far for the day. All the other matches, lots of heavy showers of rain. But they're pretty happy, the shoes. They're just thinking, Mark, is that back-to-back uh, -back or did they win the first year we were down here? No, they didn't. You remember... Um, Flagstaff got it to last yeah, year. Yeah. The, I they beat Norlunga, didn't they? They beat Norlunga. Remember the two Norlunga players clashed? Where was that one? Oh, was the that only, a C grade, I think? Yeah, the only clash I can think of was down in that C grade match at Aldinga. I reckon it was down at Aldinga. We saw that. Oh, look, that's got the biggest clash I've seen in community footy. That was just um, unbelievable. But uh, scenes here unbelievable as the Norlunga Shoes take out the Southern Football League reserves grade. Let's have a look at the final quarter by quarter scores. And uh, that first quarter, what did it? They had the breeze. And they didn't kick anything. And that, that's what was sort of the game, I reckon. Yeah, if you don't uh, use that breeze. And as they say, it's not always a good thing to throw the coin up and take the breeze. Sometimes when you've got all the energy, you're better off to defend in the breeze. But it can work both ways. On this occasion, the shoes are uh, home and hose. Let's have a look at those quarter-by-quarter quarter scores. 1-3 to no score. 5-3-5 five, five to a point. So certainly in control at half time. Three quarter time, three five to one two. The wine flies back in it somewhat. They just needed another goal in that quarter, and the final score two goals uh, each in that last quarter, five five to three two. The roundup of the final summary of the match. Look, picking a best player didn't commentate the whole four quarters. A little hard, but uh, look, Norlunga had some uh, great players. Baird, Fry, I, I like Mins. Mins, Mins is played all, well. He's just class. It's very good for the first three quarters. Uh, look, we'll probably go with either Mins or Fries. We'll go for Mins. Carlisle played well at all. Very good players. Darley, Case Peach. Uh, for Ranella, well, Frick played well and uh, Powell was in amongst it. Uh, Inverthong and uh, Cooper got many touches, as did Walter. Presentations coming up on this live stream will be a few ads and then you'll see the Prezos for the Reserves Grade Clash. Hang around on this stream if you want to watch that. Coming up on a new stream will be the league match live here from Flinders University Stadium. It's grand final day of Southern footy. Stay with us. You're watching MFL TV Live. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state. West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grief Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. 
Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop, Air Diffusion Agencies. Air conditioning components, copper and fittings, flexible duct, aluminium grills, spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations, Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, footings to shed instalment. He can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Lands and out in the Mallee. From farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colour sheds, cyclone rated sheds. With over 15 years experience, call Wayne today. For a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builders license 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddons are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murraybridge dealerships or visit duddons.com.au for more information. Duddons, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is set in concrete. Yo. Looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number 39. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Can't wait to drive my new used car. Service and finance the best by far. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishers. It's Fishers. A name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishers. Phone 853 500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At Solomon's, we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters, and our fantastic made-to-measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo, 0411 389. Hey Bob, your carpet's looking dirty. Yeah, it needs a clean. It needs a canard clean. Make your job easy with canards. Carpet, footy clubs, windows, office cleans. All your cleaning products for purchase. Toilet rolls, chemicals, floor cleaners with shampoos and conditioners. Contact Paul Canard, 35 Adelaide Road, Pinaroo. Phone 0419 180-924. Canard Clean, cleaning the Mallee and beyond. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from Still Specialist Stores. Find yours online. Better still.
Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings, and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs, and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dacia Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Milnes Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandiapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kandiapan Hotel nearly four years, but it's the years experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupen Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh, every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Knaupen a place to stay and relax at the Knaupen Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot. Dukes Highway, Knaupen. Phone... 08-8571-1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue, your studio or your headquarters? Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Around here, we love our Golden Grain. And we love our Golden Grain Hotel. Open from 11am, seven days a week. And meals available every night. With theme nights four nights a week. Including burgers, pizza, steaks and Thursday nights a schnitzel night. Grab a feed for $15. Affordable for all the family. There's even a kids menu too. Locals or travellers just coming off the highway into the main street and find the Golden Grain Hotel. And shearers, farmers and spud farmers order your takeaway meals. Check the website for menus, meal specials, accommodation and upcoming events. Golden Grain Hotel, Pinaroo.com. Got a lot of empty bottles and cans cluttering up your garage or backyard? Load all of your empties in the car and get to Murray Bridge Recycling. They'll have you unloaded as quick as a speeding bullet, cashed up in a flash. With depots in Meningi and Strathalbyn too, turn those old bottles and cans into cash now. You can also assist with your waste recycling and document destruction services in the Murraylands. Serving you for over 40 years. Murray Bridge Recycling, 55 Thomas Street, phone 08852. Be who you want to be. Go where you want to go. It's your journey. Come on down to your local Dunlop Super Dealer and have a friendly chat because nobody knows local roads like us. Bridge Hotel, right in the heart of the creek. Drop in for a coldie after the game. Meals available, 70 Bridge Road, Langons Creek. Phone 0885 373 010. There is only one way to get your team top of the ladder. Bridge Aluminium. Manufacturing under the brand All Weld. Making platform ladders, orchid tripod ladders, tradie ladders and mezzanine ladders. They also manufacture vehicle canopies, ute trays, toolboxes and perform truck fitouts. Aluminium material sales. Their range is the best. Drop into 225 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. Email sales at bridgealuminium.com.au or phone 8532 5884. Bridge Aluminium. When it comes to ladders, they're the top team. Six and out, old mate. You mean window and out. Mum's gonna kill us. Mum's gonna kill you. No worries. I'll fix it fast. Who you gonna call? Row Aluminium and Security. Specialising in windows any size. Security doors, Roller shutters, bathroom screens, fly screens, and general window repairs. Call Darren for a free measure and quote. Phone 08 85 321 230. Or visit their showroom at 44 Old Princess Highway East Side, Murray Bridge. Row Aluminium and Security, where your security is our business. It's time to relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
That's the feeling you get from the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, specializing in relaxation, remedial massage, trigger point therapy, and reflexology. With on-the-spot health fund rebates available, phone 85310499. Refresh your mind, body, and soul with the Soul Deep Massage Clinic, 74 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge. For over 40 years, Silver Fleece has been making cricket jumpers and vests for the Australian Test Team. You too can hit the field in your very own traditional cable knit jumper, custom designed with your logo and club colours. From their factory in Hindmarsh, Adelaide, Silver Fleece manufacture cricket jumpers and vests from 100% pure Australian wool. For an obligation-free quote and design, give Greg a call on 08 8118 6099. Silver Fleece, 70 years strong, that's some innings. West End is proud to be a long-standing supporter of sport across all levels in South Australia. From a 68-year partnership with the SANFL, whose Premier's colours now adorn the top of the famous Brickworks kiln each year, to the Adelaide Footy League and Community Football, to the Adelaide Strikers, West End Redbacks and Premier Cricket and many other local sporting competitions and venues throughout the state, West End is synonymous with the sporting landscape in SA. West End, we're still here, in the community, at your local and on the hill. Grieve Property and Project Solutions Proprietary Limited is an Australian-owned and operated business. We strive to provide the highest level of service, quality and integrity and our clients are our priority. We're a business that has grown through word of mouth and repeat business and we are indebted to those clients who have assisted us in expanding to where we are today. We specialise in project management, consultancy, design, shop fitting, commercial fit out, defit and make good, commercial and residential construction and maintenance. Check our website www.grieveprojects.com.au or phone 0400 990 077. Our standard, if we can't provide a solution, we'll find someone who can. Meat at the Mount combines the years of home delivery with the passion and knowledge of your local butcher. Farming the Flurio since 1841 and it shows when you taste the quality of hand-picked meat and produce available. Meat at the Mount can deliver your meat, dairy, eggs, fruit and veg straight to your door. They've recently included Kangaroo Island rolled oats for those looking a healthy option on the cold mornings. Delivering to Adelaide, the Flurio, Mount Barker, Tuesday to Saturday. One-time offer, order online at meatatthemount.com.au and use the code SOUTHERN22 to get 500 grams of mints in a stubby holder added to your order for a limited time. Meet at the Mount. Meet and more. Delivered fresh to your door. Summer is just around the corner. It's time to get your air conditioning sorted. Call the one-stop shop. Air diffusion agencies. Air conditioning components. Copper and fittings. Flexible duct. Aluminium grills. Spare parts and more. ADA are proudly family owned since 1989. Five big locations. Lonsdale, Salisbury, Darwin, Brisbane. Or see us at 99 to 109 Frederick Street, Welland. Phone 08 8116 3600. Serving you for over 30 years. Proudly supporting Southern Football League. It's funny how my car always gets left out in the sun. You know what I need? A new shed. From carports, sheds, verandas. No job is too big or too small. Industrial, domestic and commercial. From plans, footings to shed instalment. He can even organise the concrete too. From the hills to Murray Land and out in the Mallee. From farm and rural sheds, commercial and industrial sheds, colour sheds, cyclone rated sheds. With over 15 years experience, call Wayne today for a free measure and quote. Don't muck it, call Wayne Luckett. 0417 852 032. Builder's Licence 243 895. What does farming and the BT50 have in common? They are both reborn and built from the ground up. Perfect for the man on the land or that adventure, the BT50 is available at Duddon's Murray Lands. Duddon's are a 70 year old, third generation, family owned, multi-franchise dealer that you can trust. Now with Ford, so check out their Everest. Duddons are your 4x4 and SUV specialists. Visit either of their two Murray Bridge dealerships or visit duddons.com.au for more information. Duddons, easy to do business with. Do you need your driveway exposed with some awesome squares? Time to call a team from Carstairs. From shared floors, driveways or your footpath, call the guys at Carstairs Concrete Services. They've got the staff. Brighten that entertaining area with some colour. Call Carstairs. There is no other. From foundations to a fence post, no job is too big or too small. It's time to give the professionals Carstairs a call. Phone 0401 009 886. Carstairs Concrete Services. Our guarantee is setting concrete. 
Yo, looking for the big orange sign? You'll find it at number 39. It's Fishes. It's Fishes. Can't wait to drive my new used car. Service and finance the best by far. It's Fishes. It's Fishes. Drop in and see Alex or Rick. They've got the used car that'll do the trick. It's Fishes. It's Fishes. Service detailed, ready to go. You'll find them at 39 Adelaide Road. It's Fishes. It's Fishes. A name you can trust with no fears because they've been serving you for over 60 years. It's Fishes. Phone 853-22500. Do you want to add a little magic to your flooring and window furnishings? At Solomon's, we have a huge range of carpet and hard flooring options, blinds and shutters, and our fantastic made-to-measure curtains too. We've got all the latest trends at magical Solomon's prices. And don't forget to ask about our shop at home service too. So to really transform your home, remember, there's magic in a Solomon's floor. And there's magic in a Solomon's store. Thinking Insurance, an MGA Insurance Group broker, can save you time, money and stress. Whether it's business, farm, crop, professional or private insurance, MGA provides advice and assistance to make sure you're properly protected. And when claims arise, MGA works for you to ensure that you get your full entitlement. Your local MGA Insurance Group broker is a specialist in insurance and risk management. Give them a call today and put MGA to work for you. Contact Bianca in Pinaroo, 0411 389. Nine five two four. Hey Bob, your carpet's looking dirty. Yeah, it needs a clean. It needs a canard clean. Make your job easy with canards. Carpet, footy clubs, windows, office cleans. All your cleaning products for purchase. Toilet rolls, chemicals, floor cleaners with shampoos and conditioners. Contact Paul Canard, 35 Adelaide Road, Pinaroo. Phone 0419 180-924. Canard Clean, cleaning the Mallee and beyond. For a better way to buy garden power tools, you'll have to go to your local still specialist. They're experts, so you'll get the tool you need. They'll familiarise you with the tool and get it ready to go. Better still, they can service it too, so it'll last for years. Still Garden Power Tools, only from Still Specialist Stores. Find yours online, better still. Have you got some water to pump, need more rainwater storage, or need more feed for the animals? We've got everything you need in store today. From fire pumps, spray equipment, pool pumps and filters, solar system water pumps, star droppers, gates and generators, PVC fittings and poly pipe to hay, horse supplies, animal needs and anything for the garden. Be sure to come in and see our team here at Dace Irrigation and Fodder for the right advice and the best price. Find us at 41 Milne Road, Strathalbyn, phone 8536 4422 or 151 Adelaide Road, Murray Bridge, phone 8532 2711. When you walk into the Kandiapan Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Kandiapan Hotel nearly four years, but it's the years experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupen Hotel, pride the... When you walk into the Knaupen Hotel, you can tell the staff love what they do. The friendly atmosphere and fast service is evident the moment you walk in the door. Jonesy and Winnie have been operating the Knaupen Hotel nearly four years, but it's the years experience the guys have in hospitality that stands out from the rest. Their wood oven pizzas make your mouth water, and the freshly baked onion bread is to die for. With a range of meals on the chef's menu, it's a choice whether during the week or straight after footy from 6 to 8 for dinner. Knaupen Hotel pride themselves on fresh salads, made on site, fresh every day. Check out their Facebook page, click on the menu button, and view what's hot in the chef's kitchen. With plenty of room for group functions or birthdays, make Knaupen a place to stay and relax at the Knaupen Hotel, your highway stop that hits the spot. Dukes Highway, Knaupen. Phone 08 1006. Drop in and get a tinny from Jonesy and Winnie. Is your home your office or your schoolyard? Your gym? Is your home your local, your party venue? Your studio. 
or your headquarters. Change your home to suit your life. Don't miss your chance. Find your local real estate office. Around. So, uh, first of all, well done to uh, Norlunga and Ranella today. Um, if I could have... Uh, Sorry. Dave Prescott up. Does that say it doesn't work? No, it's a live stream. Oh, really? Just, just, just hold it down here. Yeah. All right. Um, just really proud of the boys today. Um, we've come a long way this year. Um, I know it's disappointing. We'll learn from this and we'll be back next year. Um, to Nalunga, fantastic effort. Four out of the last six years. Great team. Uh, well done to Ratsy. You can calm down now, mate. Um, yeah, fantastic effort. You guys deserved it. You wanted it more, and uh, well done. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Come on, okay, first up, I'd like to uh, uh, hand out the best on medal for today, and um, that is the Ken Doan medal, league secretary, uh, life member of Port Nalunga, and also SFL Hall of Famer. So to present that, I'd like to introduce Damien McCann from the Sample. To present that to Matthew Fry. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, well done. Have a word. Well, I don't think I was any close to being best on ground, but I'll take it. Um, to our boys, Fucking unreal. I don't know what to say, but and Ranella, you've been great all year. Always hard, always tough. And yeah, let's just let's fucking enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, if I could bring uh, Mick Irvine in up. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Dave and his boys. Uh, another tough game. Every time we played, it's been a tough game. Uh, your success is not too far away. We at the Shoeys have a total respect for your football club, the way it's set, set up, and uh, you've got your kids coming through, and uh, your better days are ahead. There's no doubt about it, boys. Just keep work, working hard. I think uh, you've got great coaches involved in your club, and like I said, it's not that far away. So well done on today's performance. Cheers. To our boys, yeah, it's just, uh, I can never trust them. That's why I'm stressing all the time. But, uh, yeah, they seem to turn up when it matters the most. And uh, I'm really proud of them today. They uh, they just threw, threw themselves in stupidly at times. Just the pressure they, they brought today was just enormous. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, boys. Thanks on, on the day. Fantastic. Good on you. Well done. Do you want to bring yeah, them up? Oh, I can do, I can do this. Beautiful. Okay, first one to come up, Chrissy Menz. Next one. I see he's not here. Uh, Bo Donaldson, BJ. Chase Johnson. Matty Fry. Frosey, come up again, Frosey. One of the old men, Joel Brown. Brownie, up you come. One of the young guys, Maxie Rogerson. Well done, Maxie. Well done. Cushy Baird. Well done, Joshy. Good work. Kevin Oppie. Choppy, up you come. Will Darley, next one. Go on, you Will. Another one of the old boys. No worries, bud. Uh, Sammy Carlisle. Nathan Smith. Cooper Thomas. Sammy Elfinch. Nicholas Robertson. Congratulations, 
Noah Keskin. Big Sammy Eisenhut. Talon Hobson. Hayden Peach. Terry Kay. Now, who else have I have forgotten is uh, the cho Jacob Daly. And uh, the skipper of the side, Ryan Hocking. Is that it? I haven't missed anyone out. I haven't missed anyone. That's it. All good. You got uh, three, four. You yeah. Six if you want to give them yeah. I'll do. I'll, I'll do that inside. Can I do that inside? You can do that. Yeah. yeah. No worries. Yeah. All good. Okay. okay. You want to do one for you right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No worries. All right. Congratulations. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, without further ado, I'd like to present the uh, captain. Captain up the front here. This is, this is the one you're going to view back. This is the one. Back, right? yeah. We've held that a couple of times, Chase. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> For the club. And uh, can't go without a pennant. Woo! Hang that one up, boys. Congratulations, no longer. Well done, no longer. Yeah! Congratulations. Yeah! Well done. Back, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. 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 Y